In this video, I'm going to go through problem 13. And in problem 13, it says, what is the radius of convergence of this series? Okay, um, the radius of convergence of this series or any series could be found uh, by solving this inequality um, involving the limit as n goes to infinity, which is the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n in absolute value being less than one. So if you solve that inequality, then you can find the radius of convergence. So why don't we do that? First, uh, because we observe that a sub n is this thing here, uh, we know that a sub n plus one has to be x minus four to the two times n plus one, careful here. It's not simply two n plus one, right? It's two times the quantity n plus one. And then all of that divided by three to the n plus one, this part isn't tricky to navigate and so you write limit as n goes to infinity and then it's going to say um, a sub n plus 1 is going to be uh, x minus 4 to the well note this by the distributive property is going to say 2n plus 2 divided by 3 to the n plus 1 and then it's dividing that by a sub n which is this well, dividing by this is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, so we do that, and so we write times 3 to the n over um, x minus 4 to the 2n power. Okay, great, and we need this to be less than 1. Got it. Now, uh, some canceling here will go a long way, so these two fellas cancel to an x minus 4 squared in the numerator, right? And these two guys cancel to a 3 in the denominator. Cool. So we should write limit as n goes to infinity, and then it should be absolute value of x minus 4 squared over 3, and we need to solve for that to be less than 1. First, observe that uh, we do not have um, any n's in here anymore. All of the n's are gone. Therefore, we do not need to write that limit as n goes to infinity uh, because nothing here depends on n. So we could just stop writing the limit and write uh, the absolute value of x minus 4 over 3, or sorry, squared is divided by 3. Note that I got rid of the absolute value around 3 because I can. The absolute value of 3 is 3, and that's less than 1. At this point, I'll multiply both sides of that inequality by 3 and observe that the absolute value of x minus 4 squared will have to be less than 3. Great. And here I see that because x minus 4 quantity squared is always positive, this thing here, the absolute value bars around it are redundant. Um, so I get rid of them. So I get x minus 4 squared is less than 3. Um, and clearly this says that x minus 4 is um, less than root 3 and uh, greater than negative root 3. And since that's my translation, I see that my uh, radius uh, has to be root 3, since I am centered at 4 and root 3 on either side. If you are not convinced, you could add 4 to both sides, uh, to actually all three sides. So 4 plus, um, there's a middle side, a left side, and a right side, right? So you get 4 minus root 3, and then is less than x is less than uh, 4 plus root 3, clearly that has a center of four and a radius of root three on either side of four, right? So it's gotta be root three, C. Cool, take care.